And some unusual miracles are connected to illogical instructions. Illogical instructions are designed to create uh, something in you that will cause you not to be self-sufficient. To prevent you from becoming self-sufficient. Illogical instructions are designed to cause you to rely on God and not on yourself. And when you follow illogical instruction, you're going to experience the manifestation of an unusual miracle. Sometimes you're going to have to say yes when you feel like saying no. Sometimes you have to go forward when you feel like standing backward. Sometimes you're going to have to do things in the kingdom of God that make no sense. But I promise you, at the end of that process, you are going to see something so powerful and so dynamic that people don't understand what happened. But you will know. That it is my God that did it. Okay, very quickly. Somebody say acknowledgement. acknowledgement. The next point is alignment. Somebody say alignment. alignment. Say it again, alignment. alignment. Say it again, alignment. alignment. Alignment is the proper positioning of parts in relationship to each other. Alignment. Alignment. Creation has a special relationship with the creator. God has built a design in his creation to do what he says. Hello? Therefore, if you come into alignment with God's word, meaning you're coming into alignment with God, creation has to do what the creator says. Hello? How many of you know that everything was created by God? Colossians. For all his pleasure. Everything was created by him, for him, for all his pleasure. Is that the Bible? So if God is the creator, therefore it stands to reason that the design of what he has created is there to support and to sustain what he has created as long as what he has created is tied into God's original intent for it. I'm going to say it again. If God is the creator and has created everything, it stands to reason that the design of what he has created is there to support and sustain what he has created as long as what he has created is star into God's original intent for it. Hello? He created a fish and the design of a fish is to live in an environment of water. Hello? And in that design, whatever, if the fish needs to eat, it will have to eat in the river or whatever it is. If the fish needs a house, it will live in the water or whatever, whatever it is, ocean, you know, river, whatever. Hello? As long as a fish remains a fish, it never has to worry about a place to stay or what to eat. Because the design of what God has created is there to sustain and to support what God has created as long as what he has created is tied into God's original intent for it. But if, if a fish decide to say, you know what, I'm tired of swimming, I'm going to go hang out on the beach like some of them people over there. Wow. What will happen? It will die. Hello? God has put you in a kingdom that has a system. I said, God has put you in a kingdom that has a system and a design that is there to sustain and support you as long as you're tied into God's original intent for you, which is to live by the principles of the kingdom. Glory be to God. So as long as you are in alignment with the word, as long as you are in alignment with the spirit, there is a technology that is in operation, glory be to God, to bring the supply of whatever you need. You may not get it in one day, you may get it in three days. You may not get it in three days, you will get it in one week. You may not get it in one month, you will get it in two months. Whatever time it may take, if you stay, if you stay tied into God's original 
being turned forward. There is an operation of power that is at work. As long as you stay aligned with the purpose of God in your life, as long as you stay aligned with the word of God, something is moving in the spiritual dimension of the universe. And before too long, there's going to be interference between the spiritual world and the natural world. Natural laws are going to be broken. You are going to be healed. You are going to be delivered. God's going to provide for you. Something's going to happen. You're going to break beyond limitations. And a lot of times when there is a move of God that is happening in the spirit, you will feel it in your spirit, on your inside. Before it is manifested on the outside. You will feel it because your spirit has been wired to have access to spiritual technology. Jesus says the word that I speak to you are spirit and life. So when God is speaking to you about something that is supposed to happen, he's not talking to your mind. He's not talking to your emotion. He's talking to your spirit. That means that sometimes your mind cannot understand what your spirit is receiving, but your spirit knows it, but your mind does not understand it. God can speak to you and say you're going to be an asset owner, a land possessor, a wise builder. And you look at your bank account, it's in the red. You listen to your voicemail, it's full of repo people after repo people that are trying to collect stuff from you. And you start to wonder, God, do I have a rich uncle that just died somewhere that I have no idea about? <laughs> Come on, somebody. But it is an invitation. <laughs> It's a promise, but it is an invitation into the supernatural. And sometimes uh, you have a contradiction that goes on in a natural dimension of your life. Uh, but yet in the spiritual dimension of your life, you feel a stirring about the power of God. You feel that things are about to change. But in the natural, you have a spiritual contradiction. Four lepers never heard the prophetic word. When Elijah prophesied about this time tomorrow, there will be food at the gate of Samaria. They never heard the word. But one day, a stirring began to take place on the inside. They begin to think about things they never thought before. Thought they never thought before. And they begin to say, why sit we here until we die? If we stay here, we'll die. If we go there, we'll die. There was a stirring of dissatisfaction that begins supernaturally to take place on the inside of their mind. They never heard the word. There was still contradiction in the natural dimension of their life. But something was pushing in the realm of the spirit. And it began to affect them somehow. This does not make sense. I'm supposed to be a leper. I'm supposed to be ostracized. I'm supposed to stay away from people. I'm not supposed to go in the city. But something is moving me. It's pushing me into a direction I never dreamed I would go before. It seems to be ridiculous. Glory be to God, but it is miraculous. And here, those of you under the sound of my voice, many times, even during the course of this week, whenever there were powerful preaching going on, you begin to feel, to feel a stirring on the inside in your spiritual dimension, even though you have natural contradiction in your natural dimension. While the preaching was going here about blessing, about different things, something was stirring on the inside, and you went back home to your senses situation you went back home to the same contradiction but I want you to know this is an operation of spiritual technology whenever you feel a stirring in your spirit it is a prophetic indication that a word a sovereign command from God has already been given on your behalf and your spirit has been wired to access spiritual technology and it begins to push you in a direction you never thought you would go before it begins to push you in a direction that seems to be a contradiction in your natural dimension Oh, and some people fail to obey the 
rule of the spirit and miss the blessing of God. Oh, sometimes you have to obey the spirit of God on the inside of you, the stirring of dissatisfaction on the inside of you, even though it does not make sense on the on, on the outside. What sit we here until we die? Why sit we here until we die? And they begin to move in a direction of that stirring, but they didn't know that they were coming into alignment with the word that God spoke through the prophet. Creation has a special relationship with the creator. And as they begin to take step forward, steps of faith, God begin to amplify their steps. And the enemy heard the sound of a mighty army and they fled. And when they got to the city, the provision of the Lord was there. The food was there. The blessing was there. The houses were there. Glory be to God. It seems to be ridiculous in the beginning, but sometimes God ridiculous, uh, God miraculous begins in the ridiculous. And you have to be willing to follow the stirring of the satisfaction on the inside of you, the stirring of the Holy Ghost. And as you come into alignment with the Creator, creation has a special relationship with the Creator. The operation of spiritual technology is going to bring the deliverance of what God has promised you. Hallelujah. 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 So sometimes people may come to services like that. People are dancing and they're, they're jumping. They're saying ha, ha, ha. You know, when they're listening to the word of God, you know, it is a prophetic demonstration. You don't understand what's happening. It is a prophetic demonstration. There is a stirring in your spirit, man. Glory be to God. Oh, there's a stirring. The more you align yourself with that word, the more you follow that stirring, God's going to release some operation of power in your life. The way the Lord showed this to me, it's like here in the United States, we have police officers that stand on the side of the road, sometimes ambush people with radars. How many of you ever got a ticket? No, don't raise your hand. <laughs> I'm going to bring this home. <laughs> what happens? What happens is that when a police officer shoots a radar gun to your car, the laser goes to your car, bounces from your car, comes back to him, and it tells him how fast you're going. Hello? So when God speaks a word and there is a stirring in your spirit, God has a radar. Come on. And he's looking at you and see how fast you're going to obey the word that you're receiving on the inside of you. Come on, somebody. I say, he, he, he's watching you. Some of you, God spoke to you. You need to give $1,000. You need to give $10,000. You need to give a million. You're like, God is watching. How fast you're going to move? Come on. He stirred you on the inside for something. And is watching. How painful was it for Abraham when God told him to take his only son? He said, this is ridiculous. I believe God for 25 years for this miracle. And now I have to give it up. My human logic said, you don't have to do it. But my insight said, I have to do it. Oh, Abraham had this battle between information and revelation, between human logic and God's logic, uh, between the natural and the, sp and the spiritual. Uh, here he is having this battle, but there was a stirring on the inside to take his son uh, on the top of the mountain, and God is there watching. God is on the top watching Abraham. And Abraham is going up. But what he didn't know 
is that as he was responding to the stirring of God, on the other side, God was causing the ram, come on, to go up. So that ram can become the substitute. But it was a test of Abraham's faith in God. Glory be to God. By the time he obeyed the Lord, provision was there on the top. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. I know the stirring in your spirit looks ridiculous, but I want you to know that it is miraculous. Keep pushing in the direction of the Holy Ghost. Oh, do not lean into your own, to your own understanding. Follow God. What will happen is that at the end, you're going to be at a, at a, you're going to receive the result of something that your obedience to the voice of the Spirit produce. Somebody say, I have access to spiritual technology. I have access to spiritual technology. I am not limited by my limitation. I'm limited by my expectation. 